Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Congressman, Maurice Hinchy, and the 42nd President of the United States, Bill Clinton. We're going to continue to strengthen the high-tech and clean energy industry. We're going to continue fighting to strengthen our schools. And we will not let up until every child has a quality education that prepares them to succeed in the 21st century. We're going to continue standing up to the big Wall Street banks that wrecked our economy through unregulated greed. We're going to continue holding the credit card companies and the predatory lenders accountable for the ripoffs that they engage in. And we're going to stand up to the powerful corporate and foreign special interests who are trying to rig this election with tens of millions in last minute smear ads. We're together, you and me, you and me, all of us together. We're going to keep fighting to strengthen the middle class, turn this economy around so that the American dream can stop being a dream and once again become the American reality. Maurice Henschey has done a great job for this district. In a tough economic time, he got you thousands of jobs you wouldn't have had. He was ahead of the national movement trying to put us back in the lead in the race for a clean energy future. Morris Hinchy, let's go to the jobs, had voted 40 times in the last 21 months since we took over and ran the hole for various tax cuts to help small businesses and manufacturers to create jobs in America. A hundred million families with modest incomes got tax cuts so they could buy food and keep the grocery open. And state and local governments got money so they wouldn't have to fire more teachers and more health care workers and make it work. Every independent analysis said it created more jobs and saved more jobs than they thought, somewhere between one and a half and three million, and the unemployment rate would be one and a half or two percent higher if that stimulus hadn't passed. Their position is to repeal the rest of it, which will raise taxes on 100 million working families and kill jobs. I say we should keep it, and to keep it, you've got to keep Maurice Hinchy in the Congress. They don't ever run ads that say this, vote for us, give us the majority, and we'll make it more expensive to go to college, harder to pay your loan back, and increase the debt by $60 billion. But that is their position, and on that issue alone, you should vote for Maurice Hinchy and against his opponent. On the four big questions, what we need to do on jobs, what we need to do to finance them, what we need to do to educate and train people to fill them, what we need to do about the long-term deficit, the answers are clear. And who's more likely to do it? Maurice Hinchy's more likely to do it. There is nothing wrong with this country that can't be fixed by what's right with it. And we cannot let our justified anger and disappointments and frustrations turn this election into a referendum on our feelings. This is a choice. And you need to go out there and talk to everybody who is not here. We have come a long way back. It is time to get our country on the move again. It is time to reelect Maurice Hinchy. You owe it to the children and the future. Thank you, and God bless you.